Now let's get into the meat, as we say, of the of the podcast today. Mark listened with great interest to your recent podcast on running. Would love to hear your thoughts on further aspects of this. Setting aside extreme running, 20-mile-plus events, what of the medically beneficial goal of speed, stamina, and recovery rate? How could one use mainly barbell training to be a great basketball or soccer player? Would seem many parts of the conditioning puzzle getting left out here. Uh, well, let me ask you a question. Are you proposing that all you do to be a great basketball or soccer player is barbell training? And how do we make a great basketball or soccer player out of a person who only trains with barbells? Is that actually your question? I'm, I'm, I'm really seriously puzzled by this. Uh, could an advanced flow sport athlete reach required conditioning level by focusing primarily on slow and heavy lifts alone? Isn't fast, sustained motion also required? Thus, need for training kettlebells, plyometrics, sled pushing, sprinting, battle ropes, Olympic lifts, etc.? Never watched I, have, have you? What? What do you, goddamn idiots, think that soccer players and basketball players don't practice basketball and soccer while they're getting stronger? And we're not trying to get them doing eight hundred uh, deadlift. You know, we're not trying to get them doing eight hundred deadlift. We're just trying to get them to like a four hundred five deadlift, right? Which any athlete ought to be able to do. 